Sometime between Saturday, October 8th and the following Wednesday, unknown culprits broke into a large industrial complex located at 411 19th Street in Southeast Calgary. We say the vandals got into the medical supply building by breaking a window. Once inside, the culprits destroyed everything they could get their hands on, smashing windows and drywall, discharging fire extinguishers, and breaking computers and technical equipment. Staff Sergeant Sean Gissing is the investigating officer. He says although there was extensive damage, nothing was stolen. This speaks very strongly to the fact that it was probably a group of young people in the building, became comfortable uh, in and around the building, and therefore felt uh, safe to spend an extended period of time simply doing damage throughout. Damage to the medical supply warehouse is pegged at a half million dollars. We say chemical supplies and components were strewn throughout the building and that the culprits could be at risk to exposure. What's interesting is at some point, the people responsible must have been con become concerned about the, the type of things they were handling inside. So they actually put on gas masks, breathing apparatus that were found inside the building and used those while they were doing the damage. Police say whoever is responsible for this crime could have spent days destroying the warehouse, which was slated to open in November. This was more than one culprit. This was probably upwards of three, four, five people involved in this over an extended period of time. Those three, four, or five people have all told friends. Lots of people know about what happened in here. Remember, Crime Stoppers pays a cash reward of up to $2,000 for information on this or any other unsolved crime. To recover stolen property, drugs, and the arrest of any wanted person. Your call is anonymous and completely confidential. Call 1-800-222-TIPS or log on to the Crime Stoppers website at calgarycrimestoppers.org. In Northeast Calgary, I'm Dave Roberts, Shaw TV.